Get a nice view looking this way of the floor plan. It's a really nice cabin. This is moderator Melissa. Before I leave um, Jellystone Columbus North after our lovely stay from Friday to Monday for the Jellyheads Pick the Fest visit weekend, I wanted to show you Cindy Bear 8. It's the cabin my family and I stayed in. Now, mind you, this is at the end of our trip, so it was cleaner when we uh, checked in. Um, so this is after hard living with 12-year-old boys. Um, but I cleaned it up. We're all packed up, but I wanted to give you the quick, quick tour because I'm supposed to be out of here in two minutes. So I'll show you the outside last, but inside, come through this door. It has really, really cool shades that are the internal shades um, that go up and down. You can make it full visibility with no shade, uh, privacy settings. It's actually really, really cool. Um, right to the right of that is the master bedroom with a queen size bed. What I really like about this cabin is they have pocket doors. So that allows you to have the maximum amount of floor space because you don't have to swing a door in or out. Um, very sizable, queen size bed. Fills most of the room but leaves you the ability to walk around the bed, which is very nice. Um, i walk over here. Very good lighting in here, both from the windows, natural light, and uh, nice lighting. Our view. Um, there's a mirror, hi! Um, very nice sized. And what I really liked is there's a closet here. This came very much in handy to stow a lot of stuff. Um, because as you know, when you're camping, space is a pre premium, storage is a premium. So that serves stuff, a lot of stuff in there. Uh, what's really nice is because this is basically a small box. There is a fan that sucks air, the air conditioning or the heat from the main living area into this room. Um, so it helps quite a bit with the temperature. Um, and that's pretty much it. A lot of outlets. There's outlets everywhere. One, two right beside the bed and another one on the wall there. That's nice. The mattress was comfortable. You have to provide your own linens. And I don't remember on checking if there was an option to buy any. We just brought our own. Uh, again, this one's a queen size. Uh, in the main living area, you have an additional futon couch. Uh, we used it as a couch. We did not use it as a bed. Looks large. It looks looks to be king, actually, compared to the queen size bed. So you're getting some people on that. Uh, it's comfy to sit on. Uh, immediately across from that, you have your large TV. Uh, well appointed. My boys were able to YouTube video uh, their favorite YouTube people on the screen. Uh, nice four-person table. You can pull it out. We left it since there was just three of us in the corner like that. It was great to both eat at and stow stuff. Um, a well-appointed kitchen. Uh, really good size for a cabin this size. Uh, we had no problem stowing everything. So up top, I, it kind of looks all shoved to the side because we had all our food up here um, and on top of the fridge. But it looks like they're serviced for four. Coffee mugs, drinks, plates, bowls, uh, smaller plates. A uh, fair amount of pans, frying pans, lid, toaster, um, colander, traditional coffee pot, Keurig coffee pot. Uh, and they actually even have provided several Keurig uh, pots, which you'll see is gone. Uh, they have your basic utensils, oven mitt, dish towel. Um, I believe this is meant to be the scrubby towel. We brought our own scrubby. Um, they provided uh, dish soap, which is all gone. We used it. Um, paper towels, which there's still some left. Um, microwave. All, uh, really good stock of your standard utensils. Um, fly swatter. Uh, really well appointed. No oven, uh, but it does have a nice sized uh, two burner cooktop and the microwave. If you left everything at home cooking wise, you'd definitely, definitely be able to get by. We brought a few extra things that made things easier. Uh, we did bring 
like tongs and like I said, the Aram scrubby to do dishes. Um, but if we had left all that home, we would have been absolutely fine. Full size fridge. Uh, definitely gets everything very cold. Everything I put in there was a solid brick. Um, nice size fridge, very, very clean. Kitchen is very nice. They do provide a trash can, which I have not emptied yet. Um, dust pan and broom. This is your air conditioner. Um, it does, let me see, I think it does heat too. It does heat as well for the winter. Uh, we kept it chilly in here. We kept it 66 and it kept up and this is, it's nice in here. Even when it got pretty warm outside, it was always very, very pleasant in here. That's the stairs to the loft, which I'll finish with. Um, over here is the bathroom again. Lived in, so not as clean as when we got here, but it came with a hand towel, uh, a single uh, full-size towel. It came with uh, toilet paper on the roll, three additional, which are gone now because we've been here all weekend. Uh, mirror, vanity, really nice full-size uh, tub, shower. What I really liked, that chair. Um, lots of places to hang towels, bathing suits so they could dry. And it's very sizable. So a lot of times in cabins, you're you're all you're all like full size, plenty of room in here. You could definitely be in here and washing up your kids. So really nice floor plan on the downstairs, but there's also the upstairs. This is where my kids spent oh ceiling fan too. Uh, this is where my kids spent a lot of time. Whether they were awake or not, they were just chilling up there. Um the stairs of death, as I refer to them, <laughs> they are very steep. They're very high. So your traditional stairs at home, you're going to trip over these the first couple times you go up and down them. Because not only are they really tall, at least looks like a plus a foot, they also have like a lip on them. Um, so you always trip going up if, you know, you're an adult and going down is, is fun as an adult. Kids manage it just fine. They do have uh, treads on them, so you're not going to slip because this is all, the whole surface of everything is this really polished wood. Uh, let me go up it. I'm not going to go all the way up, but you can see I was up here sitting and scooting around making, uh, putting the sheets on the bed. So there is room uh, to scoot around, crawl around. A little tough on the knees, so I scooted around. Um, outlets uh, for charging phones, so one over there. One over here with a nightlight is not on now, obviously, but uh, that was nice. So at night, they still could see if they had to get up to go to the bathroom, but lots of room up here. Um, it feels very spacious, and there's windows on all sides with shades. So it did stay pretty dark up here, too. Nobody woke up at the crack of dawn. And you can get a nice view looking this way of the floor plan. It's a really nice cabin. We traditionally RV. And you can see the neighboring ones. That's where moderator uh, Patricia stayed over there um, when she was here for Jellyhead's Pick-A-Fest. Um, very light and airy, very open, very, very clean. My only small complaint with this was we had carpenter ants. And yes, you are camping, you are going to see bugs. We saw a lot of them, um, about a dozen. So if you see a dozen carpenter ants, there's probably a hundred 200 more easily in the walls. So I'm just going to report that because I don't want them to have the long-term damage um, so they can just treat spray um, and get rid of that problem. Plus, if a little one's crawling around, carpenter ants are about a half inch. They're big ants. That'll leave a pretty nasty uh, bite. Um, one last thing. The bathroom does have another one of those vents. It's really, it cooled everything we had wet by the next day, having that in there, um, which was nice. Bathing suits, towels, very good. So Cindy Bear, I think it's a deluxe loft. Cindy Bear 8 is this one in particular. I think of all the Cindy Bear cabins, this one is the best one, and I'll show you why. Um, obviously a really great layout, but I'm going to show you why I think it's the best one. Let's go outside really quick. Where the Cindy Bear cabins are in Columbus North, um, they're by this beautiful overlook, and I think there's even hiking down there. I saw on the campground map that there's uh, hiking down there. There's a little creek. You can't see it in this, but it's absolutely gorgeous overlook. And because Cindy Bear, the entrance faces this side versus the other side where the courtyard of Cindy Bear uh, cabins are, it is so private and quiet. Um, it's the space is huge. This is also wheelchair accessible. 
one. We just happened to get this one because it opened up. We didn't need it for that. But as a full ramp, it has the um, the strips so that it, you, you have grip, but they also glow, which is a nice touch. Um, plenty of room to park. Could easily get two cars in here. We only have one. Um, and we backed it up really far into the, there was plenty of space that I could have moved it up further. Um, grill, a wheelchair accessible picnic table, fire ring with grate, and this is a tremendous amount of space here. This is all the space that goes with this cabin. So you could set up uh, all your party stuff here. You could set up a screened enclosure, uh, really beautiful looking cabin, very quiet over here, but you still, there's sites next to you. So you definitely get the campground hum, talk to your neighbors. Um, really a nice spot. And again, here's that overlook right behind. And I believe there are hiking trails down there according to the map. I'm pretty sure I saw an owl down there this morning, but I was gonna get my camera out and take pictures, but I couldn't spot it after it landed in the trees. So just absolutely beautiful cabin. Cindy Bear 8, highly recommend. I would definitely stay here again. And before I close down, I'll show you really quick the courtyard. And like I said, it was very clean upon check-in. The whole time I was loading my car up, there was somebody cleaning uh, cabin five. And that whole time they were in there cleaning. So I've seen many times on vacation rentals, uh, I'll see the, the cleaning staff show up. 15 minutes later, they've cleaned the whole house and left. How clean is that? Uh, whoever was in there did a fantastic job because they were in there at least an hour cleaning. Um, just absolutely um, wonderful job because the cabins were spotless. This backside didn't really come over here, but there is water um, right here. That's your campsite water. There's electric if you wanted to plug something else in. Don't really need anything, but you can see the courtyard's pretty wide open for parking, but some of the other Cindy Bears, while they have living space, much smaller. So if you get a chance to get Cindy Bear 8, you're getting a lot of living space. Relative to the rest of the campground, it is a hay rides are. Um, the um, a lot of meetups happen there, like the Glow Hay Ride. Um, there's a comfort station there, so it's immediately behind that. It's just up the hill. Alrighty.